nasty, but I'm also going to be filming my what I got for my birthday video. If you didn't know, I did film a birthday and quarantine vlog, so if I figure out how to put the video over here, then I definitely recommend watching it after this video. Uh, this is just for like entertainment, and if you're looking for gift inspiration, then I hope you find this somewhat helpful and or entertaining. So I'm not trying to brag, I personally love these videos. And also, I sound really nasty. Again, allergies. I'm so sorry, I hate the way I sound, and hopefully you don't find it too annoying, so let's just get on with the video. So first I'm going to show you what clothes I got, and I will be trying them on. Again, I won't try on everything because I don't feel comfortable trying on everything, but I will try on most clothes that I got because I think it's a little bit more entertaining to watch a try on all. I'm not going to like try on every single thing because I also got some swimsuits, so... Let's not go there. So the first shirt I got is actually the one I'm wearing right now. It's this O'Neal shirt. It just says something in yellow right here. And it doesn't have anything on the back. It's just like a basic blue t-shirt. I think it's really comfortable. So the second item I got, I don't have with me right now. It's either in the wash or somewhere, like somewhere in this house. So I'll put in a picture on the screen. I got this when I was like 10 years old. Outgrew it. It was literally my favorite sweatshirt. So I asked for it for my birthday and... I was very happy to get it. First up, we have this Roxy hoodie. It's kind of like a poncho type thing, and it's usually like not something I would go for, but I really like the material. I like the style of this. The colors are really cute in my opinion. From Abercrombie, I have this little baby doll shirt. I really like the color because it's sort of a light blue and white type color. Um, again, it's really simple, very comfortable, and it's very... Okay, it's cute. I'm trying like not to say cute a bunch of times. Next up, we have the exact same shirt in a different style. It's definitely an interesting pattern that I usually wouldn't go for, but I think I will wear it, especially with like white shorts or denim shorts. Next up, we have another shirt from Abercrombie. So I don't really know how to describe this. It's just sort of a tank top thing with a little um, stretchy fabric at the bottom. This isn't something I would usually go for, but it's somewhere within my comfort zone. This next shirt is exactly the same as the other one. It's just in a lighter fabric. Okay, next up we have something that I am so excited about. So I got this from Tilly's, but the brand is Maui and Sons. This shirt was sold out for like two months. I discovered it in January when I was studying for exams. I don't know, I just had this strange attachment to this shirt. It just made me very happy, especially with like this little rainbow, beachy, happy situation going on in the back. And I like the color a lot. It's not your typical teal color. It's sort of a greenish teal. Next I have this blue tank top from Free People. It's just a basic little navy blue tank top, so I'm excited to wear this by itself underneath clothes, and I think it's just something I kind of needed in my closet. From Abercrombie, I have another shirt. So this is, I don't even know how to describe this. It's just kind of a tank top with a little bit of ruffle on the sleeves and the top. This is something I would never wear. I'm not even kidding you, but I was like, you know what? I'll try it. They have free returns, and I actually kind of liked it on. So again, this is something I usually wouldn't wear, but I'm trying to spice up my wardrobe a little bit, and I think this is a good way to do that. Then I have the exact same shirt and a different design, pattern, whatever you want to call it, and I like this one too. It's um, sort of like a grayish blue with some white stripes, and I think this is really cute too. It's from the brand RSQ. I got this on Tilly's, and... This is the shirt. I thought it was kind of ugly when I got it in person. I was like, I thought it looked different online, but when I tried it on, it was actually super comfortable and it looked really nice with denim shorts and white shorts. So I think this is just kind of a simple shirt that I could throw on, but it's also kind of summery. The last shirt that I got for my birthday was this Hurley shirt. Okay, this is another one. You're probably gonna think it's really ugly, really weird, really random. This is kind of how I felt about the Maui and Sun shirt. I was studying for exams. I saw it. I fell in love with it. I instantly knew I needed it. I added it to my birthday wish list, and it was sold out in my size. But a week before my birthday, it magically stocked in my size. So I was over the moon to get this shirt. It just says Hurley on the front, but the design on the back is the coolest thing. It has like this retro car and the palm trees in the back. I really love this design. So next I'm going to be showing you the bathing suits I got for my birthday. I don't feel comfortable trying them on, but I will show you what they look like. 
So I got these um, bottoms with the matching top. I can't really hold them up that well at once. Um, from, let's see, Abercrombie? Yes, Abercrombie Kids. Um, I got this swimsuit. It has like a little bit of a cutout on the side. It's not like anything flashy. It just adds like a nice little detail to spice up the bathing suit a little bit. I got the same bathing suit in three colors. A navy blue. It looks kind of black on camera, but I promise it is navy blue in real life. And then I also got it in this like burgundy maroon color. Um, the way I'm holding this is just so awkward, so I got it in this little color. Next bathing suit I got is from Roxy Kids. This is um, the top. That's it. Kind of came attached, so this might be a little bit easier to show. Um, and then in the back it has a little bow which adds a nice little detail. I think it's cute and it's parent appropriate, so that's important. And the last bathing suit I got for my birthday was also from Roxy Kids. It is this really pretty color. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It's sort of a teal, but it's a little bit darker than your typical teal. Like it's darker than my wall, which is what I would usually call a teal. So this is it. It has a different type of material, it's fabric is a little bit different um but i really like this and it's super comfortable next i'll be showing you some beauty things that i got that includes like makeup skincare stuff first i got this nail polish some of them might seem a little bit random but i've been wanting a neon pink nail polish for the longest time so this one is just from like sinful colors um it says it gives a sneaker like texture and i don't really understand what that means but it's a really pretty color and I'm very excited to use it. So next up I have these scrunchies from Abercrombie Kids. Um, they're just kind of simple. Uh, one is white with a little bit of lace, one's denim, and then one's like gingham design with black and white. I think they're really simple. I don't really own scrunchies that are practical. Like I just kind of have ugly color velvet scrunchies that I wear at home, but these I could actually wear out in public, which I'm very happy about. Next, I have these teleties. I am obsessed with teleties. I don't own that many, but just looking at them online makes me so happy. They have the prettiest colors, and I kind of want more. I got these, and I am so excited. They're the mini ones, and they have this really pretty color. I don't even know what color. Oh, this is a neon pink color. Um, I think it's so pretty. They stretch really well, and the whole idea behind the teleties is like, it doesn't break your hair as much as normal hair ties do and I wear my hair in a ponytail literally all the time so I am really happy about these because they hold your hair up you can still run has a strong grip but when you take it out it does not hurt like most hair ties next up we have things from Glossier so first up we have the future do I have heard mixed reviews on this but mainly the ones coming from people with dry skin which is me, I have dry skin, um, we're positive, it worked really well for them. I'd be happy to like tell you if it works well or not in another video, but I am so excited to try this out because my skin looks dull, crusty, dry, everything that's not good or cute. So I'm very excited to give this a whirl, see how it works. And not only <laughs> is it a magical potion in a bottle, it is the most beautiful magical potion I think I will ever meet because just look at the packaging. It's like... It's so pretty. So the Moisturizing Moon Mask is a soothing face treatment, and then the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack is a detoxifying face mask, both of which seem awesome because I've heard good things about them, and they also just seem like they're not too aggressive or too chemically enhanced, I suppose, so hopefully they won't irritate my skin. So the last two items I got from Glossier are the cloud paint, so I got one in puff and dusk. I had dusk, I ran out of dusk, so I got a new one, which I'm very happy about, and I wanted to try out puff because it's just like a light pink color, and it looks so pretty, but also simple. It adds like the slightest little pop of color on your face, and I am so excited to try it out. The last like beauty product I got was the PMD Beauty Clean. I have been wanting this for two years maybe, for the longest time, and it is so cool, okay? This is like a little face washing device. So this last section I'm just gonna call random-ish. It's not random, but it's something that just like each category only has one or two things of. So the first two items I have are from SandCloud. 
if you didn't know, I have a slime account called Ocean.Slimes. I will put it on the screen somewhere. And I literally love SandCloud and Fort Ocean and Oceana. I love what they do to support and help marine life and the ocean. Cleaning out the ocean is something I'm really passionate about. So I'm always happy to purchase products from SandCloud because I love supporting such a great cause while also getting really good products. So this um, little thing I have here just includes some metal straws with cleaners. The next we have this reusable fishnet bag. It is really cool. I think this has so many great uses. I'm excited to use this for the pool, the beach, just going over to a friend's house or something. And again, I love their cause and I love everything that they do. So I will link like, their website in the description, their metal straws, this bag. I definitely recommend purchasing their products because I stand for everything that they do. Next, we have something I am very happy and excited about. So these are the AirPods Pros. Um, I never got the original ones. I was just always hoping that the price would go down a little bit. So excited. Apparently it has like better technology to block out noise and stuff. I honestly didn't really do my research. And then I also got like this teal little uh, cover, you know, to put my AirPods in. And I might decorate this with some little stickers. I just don't know anywhere to get mini stickers. If you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. Next, I got some shoes from Roxy. The box is already so cool and so pretty. I love Roxy so much and these shoes are so cool. So these sneakers kind of have like an espadrille vibe. I'm pretty sure that's the right term. Um, and then the, also, the shoes like white kind of fabric and they are so cool. Next, we have a foot hammock. So I think I'm gonna do a video with 10 things everybody needs from Amazon, and this is definitely on there, okay? This is on the list, this is probably in the top three. So this is a foot hammock, obviously I already said that, what am I saying again? Um, but I love hammocks, just like regular hammocks, and I want one in my room, but I don't have a place for that. So having a mini foot one is so fantastic. So when I'm like at my desk, my feet just get so bored. I think this is one of the smartest inventions out there. It's so cool. And I am just so excited about this little foot hammock. Last but certainly not least, we have a gift from my friend Isabella on Instagram. If you don't know her, she is Turtle Slimes. I will put her Instagram somewhere on the screen. She's so sweet. We've been friends for like two years now. She got me a bunch of little goodies. She got me this Recharge Mind and Restore Skin. It's a sheet mask. She also got me a strawberry peel off mask. Next up we have this watermelon and pink cactus sugar scrub. And I love sugar scrubs so much. I already know it's gonna smell really good. I'm so excited. It smells so good. Then we have another body scrub. It smells like sweet vanilla and I love vanilla scents. Then we have this jelly sheet mask. It's for glowing and hydrating. Then we have the Burt's Bees Watermelon Moisturizing Lip Balm. I am a collector of Burt's Bees Lip Balms and I do not have the watermelon one. So thank you so much. I love Burt's Bees. I also have some Twizzlers. And then I also got this Black Cherry Sparkling Ice Drink. I did put this in the fridge and then I put it back in the box so I could film this video. Um, I don't really know what Black Cherry Ice tastes like. I haven't tried this flavor before, but I do really like these drinks and I'm very excited to try it out. And the last thing she got me was this slime. I love her slime account so much. That is everything I got for my 15th birthday. Thank you all so much for watching if you made it here. Hopefully it was somewhat entertaining and or helpful if you're looking for gift inspiration. Please let me know your thoughts on like non-slime videos. I think they're kind of awkward for me because I don't really know what I'm doing in front of a camera, but I think they're also kind of fun and also just like experimenting with non-slime videos is something I want to do so I provide content that everyone is satisfied with. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you all for watching. Bye!